Hey guys! So I thought it was time to take a break from all the boy groups and finally show you some of the girl groups I like to collect. So part six of the series will consist of all the girl group photo cards I collect. Though keep in mind um, some of my favorite girl groups don't have physical releases that come with photo cards. Um, so that's why those are omitted. And I also stuck in some of the remaining cube boy groups towards the back. So I think as um, my girl group sections start to fill out a bit more, um, both B2B and Pentagon will have to move elsewhere. But for now, this is how I have this binder set up. So let's dive in. And for the girl group sections, how I have them ordered is in preference order. So we start off with AOA, who is um, my ultimate female group, which shouldn't come as a surprise from you guys if you know how big of an FMC stan I am. And how I like to collect their cards is um, I like to mostly collect full sets for more recent cards. So from Like a Cat up to uh, Angel's Knock, which is their latest Korean release. And for older kind of Korean releases, I try to just collect my bias, um, Choa. Though I may consider also Yuna, who's my bias wrecker. But I haven't totally figured that out yet, because those older release cards are really expensive. And then for Japanese cards, um, I think I might just try to stick to Choa's event tickets, but I haven't gone around to that yet. So we start off with Like a Cat, which I do have um, most of their cards, so I'm just missing two. So Heijong's and Soyeon's. And then you'll notice in the back, I have a mixture of first press and second press. Um, so I'm not too fussed about which press I end up getting for all of them. And then we move on to Heart Attack, which was the era I really got into AOA. And the reason why they're my ultimate girl group is mostly because they have really great title tracks, but their B-sides really kind of back up those title tracks, which I think is pretty rare for a lot of girl groups nowadays. And I think just cohesively their albums just really work for me. So I have a full set of their Heart Attack Selco cards. And then for their player cards from that release, I am missing two. So both Mina's and Soyeon's. And then you'll see, um, both for Good Luck and Angel Knock, um, I have a lot of catching up to do. So for right now I just have all of the cards that I pulled from my albums. So for the weak version of uh, Good Luck, I just have Soyeon's. And then the weekend version, I just have Mina's. And then for Angel's Knock version A, um, I just have Yuna's. And then for the larger kind of ID cards, um, I have Choa's. And surprised how nicely they fit in these eight pocket sleeves. So that made me happy rather than trying to fit them in four pocket sleeves. And then for version B, um, we have Hedgehog here. And then Jimin. Now these are all the event tickets um, from the Jap Japanese releases I have. So I think my goal is to collect all of their group cards because those are fairly easy to obtain. Um, and then I might try to collect a full set of their Oh Boy kind of era cards from their first full length Japanese album. But I haven't totally committed to that yet. But right now I just have Yuna's, Chua's, and Jimin's. And then I might try to just get used tickets from um, of Choa, but I haven't committed to that yet because those can be kind of pricey. And then um, this sheet's going to be reserved for the older releases, um, so I'm going to try to get all of Choas. But again, if I could find a Yuna one for a reasonable price, I might grab hers as well. But for right now, um, for short hair, I have Soyeon's, so she's up for trade. And then we move on to FX, who is my other ultimate girl group. And because they are part of SM, um, I feel like it's a lot easier to collect their cards than some other girl groups um, from different companies. So that's why I try to collect full sets of their cards. And they don't have too many, so it's a bit more of a reasonable... Uh, goal in this binder for me. 
So we start off with Electric, sh electric Shock, which I am missing um, three cards. So right now I just have uh, Luna and Solis card, so I need to get the other three. And then Pink Tape, I'm missing Crystals. And then for uh, Red Light, I do have Everyone's, and they are first press because they have the pointed corners. And then for four walls, I do have all four of their cards. And then these four here are kind of just freebie cards that I stuck in here just to fill out the page nicely. Then this page is reserved more for just miscellaneous cards, so either from solo albums or these two things happen to be from their first mini album, maybe you. And this is from um, Amber's Beautiful solo. And then this is from Luna's uh, Free Somebody solo. And then this is one of Luna's um, School of Files cards. So I did make a little like placeholder for um, Cowboy or their uh, Japanese version of Four Walls. I haven't bought any of their cards yet, but I do plan on getting all four. So I'll have a page for that eventually. And then we have a lot of SM merch here. So this is just showing again my weakness for SM merch. And these are from their sticker set for four walls. And then these are their kind of photo sets from their red light era. And these aren't really in any order. I just kind of stuck them. Um, randomly. And then these postcards are from their first Japanese release, um, the Japanese version of Hot Summer. And they only came with three different cards, so there's not like a version for Victoria or whatnot. So I have all three of these. And then we have um, the SM Theater cards. So I have all four of those. And then these are just some freebie cards from their Red Light era that I stuck in here because they are pretty. And then next up is Red Velvet, who again, because they're from SM, I um, am trying to collect full sets from them. So we start off with Ice Cream Cake, which right now I'm just missing Irene's card. Though I do have an extra Wendy, so if you would like to trade, um, it would be wonderful if you would let me know. And then you'll see a lot more kind of holes. So for the red, I just have Solgi and Joyce. So I need to get the remaining four cards because they did have a group card for this release. And for the velvet, I just pulled Wendy. And for uh, Russian Roulette, I just pulled Beauty. So I'll need to get all the other cards. And then they just released Rookie, which came with two cards per member. So um, I still need to decide if I want to collect all ten of those cards or just kind of stick to my five favorite. But I will need to buy the album for <laughs> making that decision. Um, and then we have some just SM merch again. So this is from their the red sticker set. And these are just freebie cards. And then this is also from the red sticker set. And then these photos are the photo set from the velvet. And then we have Oh My Girl. So for Oh My Girl, um, I just collect my bias because their cards are a little bit harder to obtain full sets of and because there's so many. So Benny is my bias, and I have all of her cards except for three. So I'm missing two of her pink ocean cards, and as well as her windy day kind of limited card, which I don't know if I'll ever be able to get a hold of that for a reasonable price, but who knows. And so this is from their debut album. Both of these are from windy day, and then both of these are from their kind of summer remake album. And then this is her closer bookmark, and this is the postcard that came in my Pink Ocean copy. And then Girls' Day is kind of the last school group I try to collect full sets from, mostly because they don't have that too many cards. 
and I really do enjoy Girls' Day. Though I am missing quite a few of their crane cards. So this page is going to be filled up with all their crane cards. So I plan to put Female President group card here. Then these four spots will be um, from their Love album, so during their Ring My Bell era. And then I'm just missing Harry's uh, uh, Summer Party card. Um, even though I'm missing a ton of Korean cards, I do have all the Japanese cards. So they've only released Starling um, in Japan. And so these four are from the limited version of that release. And this is from version A. And then version B. And then next up is Mama Moo, whose cards are also really hard to obtain. I would like to have full sets, but I just don't think it's going to be very reasonable for me. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just stick to group cards and then Ian's cards. And probably not to consider getting their pink funky card because that one's super limited. So for right now I have just things from Melting. I still need to buy their latest mini album, though I think I'm going to get an open copy. So to pull my bias. But right now I just have their group card from Melting. So there's three other group cards I would like to get from that. And then I also have their Kino version from uh, Melting. Uh, you'll notice that these are kind of more Polaroid style than what they have now. I kind of wish they went back to this because these are much easier to store than those kind of larger cards they have now. That's what all these look like. And they do have some horizontal ones. And then this is the music card that the Kino album comes in. And the Kino album also includes two postcards. So I think out of all the Kino albums that I've bought, Mama Moose is definitely, I think, the one most worth getting in terms of, um, from a collecting standpoint. And then now we have Luna, who is kind of the girl group I am that hasn't debuted yet, but I'm super obsessed with. And so I think for them, because they're releasing 12 singles for each and slowly revealing each member with each one. I'm just going to collect one photo card per member per, uh, per release. So 12 cards in total um, before they have an official debut. And right now I just have Hustles and Eugen's cards. So the December girl and then the January girl. I've bought the prior two single releases and so those are Will be coming sometime this month as well as buying um, the February curl and all the rest of the girls eventually. So these pages should fill out nicely. And you'll notice that they have kind of these stickers on the back of each card with a number which I'm not sure what the number is for if it's for like an event or something. That's, that's kind of a cool touch. Now we have EXID who is another girl group. I'm not sure how I want to go about collecting. I have a lot of cards from their Ah Yeah uh, mini album, but I haven't bought Street yet um, because I'm not sure if I want to just buy an open copy with my bias in it, and I'm not 100% sure who my bias is yet. I'm kind of leaning more towards LE, though I really do like Connie, but I don't want to collect her cards because they're the most expensive and hard to find. So, not sure what to do with this section yet, but this is what I have so far. So I have one card from each member except Hani, and then both cards for the Mognates, for Aya. Yeah. And again, I, don't, I haven't bought Street yet, so that will go next. Um, and then you'll notice I'm missing kind of a separator sheet, or cover sheet for twice. I had one printed. I'm not sure where it went, so I need to reprint it. Um, but for twice, I just collect Momo. Um, I'm missing a few of her cards. I'm missing both of her um, cards from uh, uh, page two, though I do have her lenticular card. And then I'm still waiting on one of my M Wave copies um, from Twice Coaster Lane One. So I'm hoping to get her Selka card. And then I haven't, I don't have any plans to purchase the Christmas version of that, but I would like to get both of her cards from that. And this is a full set from their pre-order bonus 
or um, twice coaster lean one which these are so pretty and then some group cards so these are from their debut uh, mini this is one of the group cards with momo in it um, from page two and then this is just a freebie then these are the postcards you could get in their latest uh, mini uh, twice coaster so both versions and then now we have a pink so a pink is a group i think i'm going to kind of get more into um in the upcoming months so i really enjoyed their um pink revelation or sorry pink revolution album so that's the only one i've bought of theirs so far um their prior releases um aren't really to my music taste because they're a little too on the cute side for me um, but I think once I kind of pick a bias from A Pink and start getting more into the variety, I'll probably end up collecting just one of the members. But I'm not sure who that will be yet. But for right now, I have Chong's um, Pink Revolution card. And then I also stuck in the puzzle pieces from that release, which are really pretty. And then now we're going to get into some sadder sections. So for four minutes, um, I had plans to collect all the members for um, the last two releases, so Crazy and Act 7. So those are almost complete. So for Crazy, their bookmarks, um, I'm just missing the Magnets. See here. And then um, for Act 7, I'm just missing um, the oldest members card, which I do have an extra canon. So if someone would like to trade for that, that would be wonderful. Um, and then also concerning CLC, I've decided I do want to start collecting their things because I really enjoyed their latest mini album. Um, so that I have an Emily copy of that coming in. So I'll make a new section for them um, and probably just collect one of the members. Um, I need to watch some variety before deciding who my bias is, but hopefully I'll figure that out soon. And then we also have 21, who was one of my first school groups that I really got into, um, especially during the time when um, I really got into Big Bang. So for them, um, I have plans to kind of fill out the sheet. So I wanted to get one version um, of each member for Crush, so I still need Dara's, or one of Dara's. And then I did want to get all their 21, or 2 any one cards. Um, which are a little harder to get a hold of, but you can find them on proxy sites pretty easily now. Um, but this is kind of like a lime turn goal, and it'll be nice to have just a nice complete 21 page in here. And then these are some um, cover sheets I printed out um, from girl groups that I plan on collecting in the future, but I don't have any of their cards yet. So for G Friend, I do plan on collecting their albums and cards. Um, I still need to kind of settle on who my bias is. I think for right now it's MG, but I'm not 100% sure. I need to watch some um, variety to kind of confirm that. And then for Blackpink, they don't have any physical releases yet, but I imagine they're going to have something in the near future. So I'll probably decide how I want to click that one whenever they do have one. Now we're on to um, the Cube Boys. So we have BTB first, and I used to collect all of BTB's cards, so all of their releases for all members, um, but I kind of put a stop to that because they had so many cards, and I just uh, collect my bias, who's Hunshik. So how I have his um, cards organized is um, I have all his kind of vertical cards all together, so all the crane guards are grouped together as and then followed by a uh, Japanese cards and then some kind of other cards and then I did end up uh, keeping some full sets of the cards so you'll see why there's some cards omitted from here and so it'll be kind of further in the video but project I have both his press play cards his winter's tail both of his I mean cards and then for Japanese cards, I have his WoW, um, the regular version of 
uh, Future Tomorrow, the limited version of Future Tomorrow. The regular version of Summer Color My Girl, I think is what it translates to. And then the regular version of Dear Bride, the limited version of Dear Bride, his regular version of LUV, as well as the limited version of LUV. And then I haven't bought their um, full-length Japanese album 24-7 uh, yet. There's kind of two versions of the limited version, and I'm not sure what the differences are yet. So if I, I'm not sure if I need to buy both or just one version yet. So I'll get that eventually. But then for miscellaneous cards, I have his uh, Japanese diary DVD card. I think there are two different versions per member, so I have this version of his. And then this is his second confession card, which um, they handed out during music shows when they were promoting that. And then for his um, horizontal cards, I have his screen version of Thriller and then both of his move cards. And then for Remember That, I just pulled one of his cards in my album, so I need to buy his other card. And then I kind of wanted to get both of the group cards on just to fill up this page nicely. And then for kind of full sets that I kept, I kept their complete set. Um, one, because this was the era I really got into BTP. Um, this full length album really impressed me. And also, I guess two because these cards are just some of their prettiest ones. So I liked having the full set. And I also kept their Summer Color My Girl limited version. Again, because these are some of my favorite cards from them. And then for miscellaneous cards, um, we have Enquan's and Ilhun's Thriller Taiwan cards. So if someone has Hanshik and would like to trade or sell or something, please let me know. And then I also have their Kino version card of I Mean, which I'm so happy they stopped doing these because Kino versions really are a waste of money. Um, anyway, and then I also have Inquan's uh, I, uh, second confession card. And then this is a freebie. Then I just stuck in some of the cards that came in albums with like their pictures on them. And then for A Winter's Tale, I only have these two postcards, so Ilhun's and Minhyuk's. So I need to trade one of these for Hunstick. And then I also have just the insert that came in complete. And then this is Inkwon's uh, Shoemaker card. And then for merch, um, this is the sticker set that came in their uh, Born to Beat era. And then I do have a full set of their Move postcard set, uh, but I just kept the group and Hen6 cards in here. And then for I Mean, um, they came with two different sets per member, so I just put one of the sets in here with the group card. Because the two sets are kind of virtually similar, they just have slightly different poses. And then on to Pentagon, who is definitely one of my favorite rookies from last year. Um, and for them, I just collect um, my two biases. So they're both kind of tied as my bias. And that's Yuto and Kino. So for their debut uh, mini Pentagon, I just have Yuto's ID card, so I need to get Kino's. And then all these cards are freebies I got when joining um, Ashley D's group orders for both of those releases. So thank you for these very pretty cards. And then this page is reserved for all of their five senses cards because they are a bit larger than your standard photo card. So right now I just have the group card with both Kino and Yuto in it. So I need to get both of their individual cards. And then there's one more group card with Yuto in it that I plan on getting uh, just to fill up this page. And then next we have kind of photo sets of both of these guys. Um, so I ended up buying full sets of the Museum Pentagon and then also uh, Tentastic. So uh, if you look down in my sale and trade kind of uh, Word doc, I have in the description uh, 
You can see which other members I also have at the moment um, that I'm willing to sell to you. So please contact me if you'd like to take one of those off my hands. But for a museum at Pentagon, these are both of Udo's. And then I also have his um, larger card that came in their debut album here. And then both of Kino's from Museum of Pentagon. And then his uh, larger card from uh, their debut mini. Then these um, photos are from their Tentastic set. So these are just like their teaser images for Five Senses. So both of Udo's and then both of Kino's. All right, so that is the end of part six. Um, I'll have part seven up sometime shortly, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.